Okay, now we're going to talk about machining the cable drum. 713 tens alloy cast aluminum cable drum. Okay, there are some holes that you're going to put in here. We're going to do the two cable holes, which are number two or point two two one inch diameter. One is a through hole, one is a blind hole, five eighths of an inch of an, five eighths of an inch deep. The other hole we're going to do is the set screw hole, which is a number 201 or number 7 diameter drill, one inch deep, and then quarter 20 national course tap. So we have two drill jigs for this. The first one we're going to do the cable holes. Clean the jig a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to take off this nut and the washer. Slide the drum teeth first. Okay, now <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole here and a hole here. You've got two slots in the drum, a long slot and a short slot. Okay, and then there's a little what I call a web of material in between the two. Your through hole will go <coughs> through this web of material. That's the cable will go through that hole, wrap around and go into the blind hole, which would be on the other side. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the the long slot basically goes up, and at the little flat on each side will basically be horizontal. So you put drum teeth on first. Actually, you know what? I forgot something. Cut. Okay, we're going to machine the drum now, the 713 Tenzoy cast aluminum cable drum. As cast, it goes to the CNC machine and it does all the machining that you see here. Faces both sides, creates the little washers, drills and reams the center hole, and does these diameters. There will be a sharp edge on the inside of both sides, and usually I get this pretty good out here. It's okay. And then there's a sharp edge around the hole. So the first thing you can do is come over here, take the countersink, and put a light edge break, ten thousandths or so, just a little one, just enough you can see it. Okay. Then what you can do, on the one inch belt sander, if you'll put it between your fingers like this, take the pads of your fingers and stick it in the hole, hold it like this, okay. turn on the belt sander. We want to deburr this edge and this edge. So if I hold it at a 45 degree angle up against the belt and let it spin, it'll make a nice even little chamfer there. The harder you squeeze, the slower it spins. The harder you push at the belt, the faster it spins. Just make sure it starts spinning right away or you'll put a flat spot on the part. Nice little chamfer, both sides. Now the one other thing that I'll show you in a minute, the edges of the teeth are sharp. We'll show you how to deburr that on a wire wheel. Okay, so over here is our drill jig. You've got a flat spot on each side of this long slot, and then there's a short slot on the other side and between the two slots is a little web of material. That's where you're going to drill through over here where there's not a slot on the other side. That's where your 5 8 deep blind hole will be. Put it on drum teeth first. Okay. Put the washer with the concave side outward. Put the nut on. And then there's a this little locating pin, when you drop this in the bushings, okay, it should go right down next to the wall here and into those flat spots. And then we'll need a 7 8 wrench. I'll just cut it later. Okay. okay, we'll take a 7 8 wrench, push down on the locator, 
and just make the nut snug. I want that to be real super tight. And then I always look back and make sure that it didn't rotate, make sure the little locating pins are sitting on those flat spots. Okay. Then we've got our number two drill. We're going to use the number three drill press, which spins the fastest. And bring this over. I always drill the through hole first. No worries there, it's just all the way through. Okay, again, wipe a little bit of oil on the drill because we're taking a hardened steel drill and putting it in a hardened steel bushing. Now make sure when you come down, the drill may rub along the wall of the part just a little bit, but it shouldn't be much. But just start it gently down there. There may be some extra material. And don't pull too hard. Just pull enough that you're getting chips out. If you pull too hard, the drill will bind in the hole and break. Okay, now notice. The drill chuck is hitting the bushing and I haven't gotten all the way through yet. So, if that happens, you've got the drill too far up in the chuck. 